Hello everyone, this is Enea here and in today's tutorial I'll teach you how to create this rotating wheel GIF in GIMP. For this tutorial I'm going to use GIMP 3.0 RC2 which is the latest version of GIMP currently. Alright, so to get started we go ahead and we create a new composition. We give it 1000 by 1000 pixels in dimensions and we'll click on OK. And then we go to Image, Guides, New Guide by Percent. And we add horizontal and vertical center guides to the composition. And then we're going to start drawing the rounded rectangles. So the way that it works is that each rectangle must be on a different layer. And each of the layer is going to be a different frame of the animation. And the GIF is being played from the bottom to the top of the layers in the Layers panel. So this is going to be the first frame of the animation. And this is going to be the last frame of the animation. So we go ahead and we create a new layer. We call it Frame 1. And we set the background to Transparency. And we click on OK. It is important that the background is set to Transparency so that the different frames add to each other when we play the animation. All right, and then we take the rounded rectangle tool and we create a thin rectangle. And we're going to increase its radius to make it rounded like this. And then we center it along the vertical axis in the middle of the first half of the composition. And then we're going to set its color. So we select the foreground color and we set the color that we want. So I will set it to a dark blue. And then to set the color, there are two different ways. Either we go to edit, fill with foreground color, or we can take the foreground color and drag it to the rectangle. So this is the easiest way. And then we press on Ctrl Shift A to unselect. And now we are going to use this rounded rectangle to create the eight other rounded rectangles that we need. So we need eight rounded rectangles overall, spaced by 45 degrees each. And then we are going to duplicate the rounded rectangle. But before we do that, we go to Layer, Crop Layer to Content. So now the layer is limited to the rounded rectangle and we're going to duplicate it. So then we go ahead and we duplicate the rounded rectangle seven times. So we need seven copies overall. And then we're going to rotate each of the copies by 45 degrees. So we select the second rectangle and we take the Rotate tool. We set the rotation center in the middle of the composition. And we rotate it by 45 degrees. And then we select the third rectangle. We set the rotation center in the middle of the composition. And we rotate it by 90 degrees. And then we select the fourth rectangle. We set the rotation center in the middle. And we rotate it by 135. And we select the fifth rectangle. And we rotate it by 180 degrees. And then we select the sixth rectangle. And now we can set minus values for the angles. So I will rotate it by minus 135. And then we select the seventh rectangle. We set the rotation center in the middle and we rotate it by minus 90 degrees. And then the last rectangle. We rotate it by minus 45 degrees. And lastly, I will also add an empty layer at the end. So this will be an empty frame when the GIF is complete.
All right, so now we have created the GIF and we are going to play it. So we go to Filter, Animation, Playback. So this brings us this GIF animation window. And then we can play the GIF. And we can adjust its settings if we want to make it slower or faster. And then if we are satisfied with the GIF, then we can export it. So we go to File Export, Export As. And it is important that we set the file ending to GIF and we click on Export. And this brings us this window. And then we check as animation and loop forever. And then we can change the delay between the frames if you want to make the GIF slower or faster. I will set the delay between the frames to 300 milliseconds, not to make it too fast. And then we'll click on export. So now we have exported the GIF and we can play it. So we go to the folder. And then we can play the GIF. So I'll leave an empty frame at the very end so that we can appreciate the end result of the GIF when it finishes playing. All right, so that was it for this tutorial. You learned how to create a spinning wheel GIF in GIMP. I hope you enjoyed it and learned something from it. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye.